Episode 10. I have a proposition for you. And what is it? Anna, don't you listen to him. If you accept my offer, I swear I'll walk away from your lives. You won't see me ever again. And if not? And if not, it'll be very sad. Your boyfriend's too young. What is your proposition? Anna, please. Anna, please get out. Anna, no. Tell me, what is your proposition? You'll spend a whole night with me. Twelve hours. <clears throat> Only one night. And I mean tonight. If you'll be mine tonight, I promise I'll leave you two alone from now on. You scumbag! You bastard! I'll kill you, you bastard! I'll kill you! Shh! Who are you to preach to me about ethics? What do you know about any of that, huh? Don't make a big mess about it, Gorgeous. It's just a single night. Not a week. I already have you. I can keep you for a week if I like. We'll go to a hotel and... Well, you get the rest. Kareem! 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 Don't you touch her! Don't touch the girl! Break his bones. Break them so he won't be able to walk again. Nobody move! Arrest them! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! Don't handcuff them! Don't move! Don't move! Get all the guns, all right? Kareem! Kareem! I said don't move. <laughs> Leave this one to me. I'll take care of it myself. Walk, walk! Start searching everywhere. Drugs, walk guns, walk. anything. Collect them all as fast as you can. Okay. Anna, you good? Anna, didn't I tell you to wait? You just always do as you please, don't you? Anna, did you call Alex? What was I supposed to do? I told her not to go alone, but she didn't listen to me. They sent me a picture of him with a gun pointed at his head. I couldn't bear it. Wow, you're very brave. You're even braver than some of the men I know. Come on. Alex, the place is clean. What do you mean? That's impossible. How come it's clean? Did you search everywhere? We did, Captain. Okay, come on, jump in the car and uh, uh, let's go to the station. He didn't pick up. I guess he didn't hear it. Doesn't he know that you're going to the hospital today? He does. So why doesn't he pick up? I don't understand. At a time when we need him the most. Stop, Mom. You don't need to get angry. He might not have heard it. Yes, maybe. Anyway, we don't have time to wait for him. We have to go. He can come afterwards. Sybil, tell the driver to get the car ready for us. I'm worried. He always answers his phone. Maybe he got into some trouble. What trouble could that be? He either didn't hear it, like you said, or he's stuck in traffic. Come on, let's not make your doctor wait. Get up. Have you gone mad? How come you went to his place all alone? What if Alex was late? What if Oren took you someplace else? Kareem, what was I supposed to do? I couldn't stand seeing you like that. I wanted to be with you. <sighs> psychopath. That guy's a psychopath. I swear he is. He has to go to the madhouse, not jail. What exactly is wrong with him? Did he even tell you anything? He says he doesn't like you and that's just it. There's no other reason. What does this mean? I just don't understand it. He'll drive me crazy. He's just gone insane, man. Maybe he's jealous of you since you're so handsome. 
Anyway, you got rid of him now. The guns were sent to ballistics. They're criminals for sure. He can't get out for at least five years now. Their statements are ready, Captain. Thank you. Thank you. Just sign these and then you two can go. Come on, we're going. Where to? My house, of course. Your mother will faint if she sees you like this. 